Hello, good day everyone and welcome to our 16th episode of our recorded Let's Play session here featuring the uh, you know the empire that I made here in Solaris which is the United Nations of Seoul so uh, uh, we'll just uh, just give me a moment here uh, we'll just made a quick recap uh, on what has happened um, on episode 15 we had uh, some sort of a sleepers awakening which is the Igarian arbitrators so they are now an awakened empire they are originally they are a fallen empire and I've never considered them or the UNS has never considered them to be uh, you, you know they never considered the UNS as uh, or the UNS has never considered them to be a threat and uh, honestly, they look like the last fleet or the bandit fleet that came in. I mean, they had the same species. So for now, they're again arbitrators, awakened interventionalists, or uh, they're benevolent interventionists. So we're just gonna go here and uh, record on what they look like, uh, of course, for story purposes. So I guess, okay, I've already uh, put that. So our current UNS General Secretary right now is Roman Fedorova. So he got his hands full with the situation developing on the Fornax galaxy. Anyway, let's begin now. So, uh, okay, um, yeah, so that's a big uh, problem right now because, uh, you know, uh, there's a possibility that it might escalate to a war in heaven. But for now, we're just... Uh, <laughs> going to assume that they just only awakened and they're not uh, you know doing anything that is uh, let's just say very troubling on the Galactic Union affairs or on or uh, or the Fornax galaxy affairs okay what do we got here hmm right so this is an industrial world unfortunately I uh, have some problems here Hmm. Okay, so here's the thing. I'll probably have to level to almost all of my forge worlds here, I guess. Uh, even my factory world. I have to uh, at least develop at least uh, 74,800 or something like that. And right now, I am still in the process of colonizing New Taiwan, which will not be finished until 2366 so it's still uh, two years away from fully colonizing and we have to of course have to deal with our politics with the Uri Tonians or the Uri remnant uh, which we could declare war within 2367 and uh, in any case all of my uh, ships are right now uh, still in the sh uh, dry docks for the shipyards and uh yeah that's the thing um okay so for now i'll have to go with trade zones here and uh yeah hmm. okay so um probably have to make a trade at least of some sort at least uh uh, probably I have to make some trade for the uh, alloys here, but for now alloys are badly needed by the UNS because of an impending or future foreseeable, uh, you know, a foreseeable event. It might be a war in heaven. Uh, we're just, of Ships course, refitted. okay. We're just trying to uh, make sure that uh, this uh, doesn't escalate into a war in heaven, which. Uh, we're not exactly sure if the rest of the armed forces of the galaxy are capable enough to countering it. Um, I myself, the Foreign Action Union isn't industrially capable because we're kind of lacking with the, uh, uh, what do you call this? Um, they, we're, we're currently lacking with, uh, okay, I'll uh, probably go with, um, We'll go for 250 alloys, I guess. Oh wait, uh, 1,200. Wait, uh, control shift to change 1,000, 1,000, and then 250. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so we should add that uh, just to uh, buy the uh, you know monthly income here. Just to uh... okay, what can you offer us? Hmm. You have a destroyer. Hmm, okay, fine. Certainly, we accept your deal. So I'll probably just uh, um. Oh god, we got the super clanker. Um. Okay, where's the super clanker? I'll probably have just to uh, rendezvous them here. Uh, I, I think I got a nearby fleet in the Rexum system. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I guess the problem right now that I have is the organization of my fleets. Um, okay, so I'll probably have to uh, organize the super clanker. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me get this. Uh, I'll just reorganize this one. Okay, the super... Oh, okay. We can't mix bubbles with the fleet. But we can get the dreadnought. Okay, we've already researched with the point defense. So we'll probably go... Um, uh, scrambles fleet depend according to the intermediate design before it... Uh, we're gonna go for plasma cannon. We need all the weaponry we could get. And uh, like I said, uh, my weaponry here isn't exactly uh, um, okay. We probably have to. Um, we're gonna go for advanced real gun. And, uh, I don't know, maybe Plasma Disruptors. Kind of need that anyway. Ah, okay, so uh, I guess that's a problem. Uh, we're s most of my ships are still undergoing uh, full refit. Hmm, we got a third UNS fleet. We don't have fourth UNS fleet, so I'm going to select this one. Beta class. Uh, no, it, this is an irregular. So this is a 21st fleet. Uh, okay. So where's my uh, Union fleet here? Or Fornax Union fleet? Okay, we got our mercenary and our for Fornax Union fleet. They're operating side by side right now. So, uh, which is good. I'll probably have to station them here somewhere in this base or um, I don't know yeah I think I'll have to station them somewhere here same goes with this one so that they could uh, go on a refit or something <laughs> so for now uh, we're still having some slowdown on my gameplay here uh, I don't know if this is PC related or the gameplay itself, but uh, I'm gonna go now on the fastest. Oh, okay, I'm negative 17,000. Okay, I probably have to stop the trade once my... Uh... Okay, excellent. Um... Okay, where's my 10th uh, fleet here? Supposed to have the, my 10th uh, fleet or something here. We need an active uh, rearmament in case. Uh, okay. Ships refitted. Okay. Fort fleet is okay, but uh, still need to uh, refit their cruisers. Uh, I guess uh, I have some problems with my cruisers here. Uh, oh god. Yeah, I do need some problems. I do have, I do have some problems with this one. Even the artillery isn't exactly uh swarmer missiles. We'll probably have to go with disruptors or something. Uh, and uh, computer is not really good when it comes to updating weaponry and uh, that's the main reason why I don't auto-update because there's always a possibility 
that my uh, that the computer will sabotage my gameplay. In any case, um, right, let's proceed now to uh, fastest because uh, our days here are a bit slower. <laughs> What's this? Sovereign state of Furbanites. Yeah. So the Sadron Manifold has this. Oh, Ilya. Died at the age of 86. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, I think this one is to be... Um, I think this is the Mongolian Defense Force. Right? New Mongolia Defense Forces, I guess. If I recall correct. Yes, of course, it has to be. Uh huh. So for now, we're still lacking. Uh, I need at least uh, la lots of unity. Hmm. So we could specialize this one, but. Uh, uh huh. No, I think we'll just keep it that way. Alright, so I guess I'll have to uh, cancel for now. Or, I mean, yeah, that'll be good. Uh, so that our prices won't get negative. And, uh... Well, actually, I got a lot of stuff here. Um, I could go... Uh, control shift 1000 shift per 200 200 and then control okay so we'll add that uh, I think I'm not gonna reduce this until uh, I'm negative 60,000 or something so for now we need all the alloys that we could get um, you know to produce the uh, know to rearm ourselves or I mean to rearm the UNS right now uh, rearming the UNS is the best uh, priority I mean the uh, the number one priority right now and uh, of course the buildup of uh, orbital defense habitats is also part of the agenda but uh, we're currently doing our fastest here um, Right. Huh. Okay, uh, we got nine artifacts. Um, how about celebrate diversity? Okay, so we're uh, we're okay with nine artifacts for now. <laughs> oh. God, even my ships here are currently being, uh, I'll probably have to do a little merger with this. But it's already 72 and 36, so, um, I'm not sure if this will gonna be, uh, fit in with the number. Okay, the four next Union fleet, uh, the third fleet needs some upgrading as well. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna reinforce them. <laughs> yeah, the four next Union fleet is, uh, yeah, let's upgrade this little uh, uh, radio. Why does it have to go in Reikyo? No, I think I'll, uh, I'll just put it here. Okay, New Madagascar is a fortress station. Um, hmm. However, um, uh, I haven't researched the uh, upgrades here to make it upgradable. Ships refitted. Okay, but uh, yeah, we're gonna upgrade one here for an upgrade. Uh, I don't know. 
some form of uh oh wait 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 no we're, we're not gonna go for that <laughs> Dorfield Kohama and Dorfield Prime here is still uh Oh, what's this? As the Reich industrial entered orbit of New Netherlands, for what should have been a brief courtesy visit, a spontaneous outbreak of goodwill turned out in combination of open air market and party. Many bands between humans and rackets were forged, and much trading took place. Okay, so I guess we're uh, currently in the uh, well. Uh, okay, so I guess we're gonna remove this one, or at least. Uh, it's getting expensive. And we're going to sell some minerals again. Okay, uh, we're not gonna go for that uh, credits. <laughs> Unity Ambition unlocks a set of edicts. Unity, uh, they are different from edicts in the sense that they cause unity to those that amount is equal to that would cost and lock next tradition. U using a unity ambition will not increase unity cost for traditions or unity ambitions. Well, this is something. Anyway, uh, for now, we're making preparations. And, uh,. Yeah, I probably have to also. Well, since I, uh, since I also have uh, a lot of uh, minerals here, I could just basically hire some armies here. Um, yeah, dread commandos. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll probably got hire five. One, two, three, four, five. And. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is gonna be a very lengthy, uh... Okay, so this is gonna be a very lengthy recruitment since I have 41 planets. So, uh... Yeah, expect that I'm gonna... Okay, well, just gonna recruit here. Oh. oh, great. So, can you imagine doing a recruitment of 40 planets? That will almost take forever. But we need a large army here. Especially when taking on two planets. So hopefully, I'll be able to produce at least uh, okay. Uh, one, two, three. So I should be able to produce at least uh, a huge. Um, huge uh, army for the invasion of the Orythonian space. So after all, we got a lot of planets here, so we uh, try to make the, the best out of equipment. Now what's this? We don't have any population for New Italy. This is something. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Hopefully I'm not gonna go uh, over bloat my uh, uh, army here. Oh 
God, we had a lot of... Uh, Okay, so we got Halo Theaters, Precinct Houses, Autopia Moment. Uh, huh. Probably commercial zones. So, uh, yeah. Okay, let's continue. Uh, 16th, 7th Fleet returns. And that's gonna go, uh... Okay, got no idea why I'm still having... Oh, probably this will uh, neutralize itself at the end of the month. Hmm. Okay, we got uh, this one. A Tokyo Monument and then... I don't know. Interesting. Sigma Aliens. Tracking space-borne life form. Uh, that is something. It's a fortress world, so we'll probably have another. What's this? Sigma aliens. Anybody? Um, uh, alien vessels. Okay, some form of light. Yeah, I think that's okay. We'll just let it... Uh, you know, run, run rampant and let the Oratonians have some problems with that. <laughs> okay, how about New Korea? Uh, we got Stronghold, Precinct House, Commercial Zones, Food Processing Facilities. Uh, of course, since this is a farm world, so okay. Um, right, let me check, um, okay, let me check my navy here. Okay, most of my, uh, navy is still. Oh, okay, we'll just station him here. Or in New Taiwan. Okay, let's reinforce that fleet. And, uh... Well, we got the second UNS fleet as well, so probably I'll have to uh, station the second UNS fleet here. <laughs> System reconnaissance completed. Okay, we'll have the. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll have my uh, first UNS fleet here as well. <laughs> so it's just will take only two years until uh, hostilities might resume against under the Oritonian or on the Uri remnant. So uh, well, the UNS should also uh, be very prepared on that for that eventuality, of course. <laughs> so uh, 2366. Well, I could go with the uh, Unity. Um, this should be a Unity uh, Ecomonopolis, mostly governmental function, so that they could, uh, you know, produce the, well, Unity points. Okay, let me check on the slave market here. Oh, we got some robots, and uh, okay, well, uh, we'll be only, we'll always be open with slaves with that. So this is going to be a unity, uh, a unity center, I guess. So just to uh, speed up our, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, or we could also put this one as a forge world. So we could have plus 1000 on alloys again. <laughs> but uh, we already have an alloy producing Kumonopolis. And, uh, oh god, it's always having some problems here. Hmm, especially with the enforcers. Um, anyway, we've already... Oh yeah, one more thing. I'll probably have to, uh... Yeah, put on alloy processing facilities so we could, you know, speed up the, uh... You know, production of alloys. So, uh, this... Uh, New Singapore is basically producing at least 505, so that's at least, uh, 
more than half of the entire uh, production of uh, actually more it's more like two-thirds of the entire production of uh, alloys of uh, UNS here so that's a big deal so uh, the thing here is that we have to decentralize the production it should not be only centered on New Singapore it should be distributed unevenly on Forge Worlds in case of an, uh, an attack or a crisis on the Fornax galaxy so uh, it would be best that all industries should not be centralized and spread out evenly uh, I'm saying this in story wise on the uh, across UNS space oh, what's this Hmm. Right, uh, we still have this, uh, okay, uh, Sir Patron, what to review? Hmm. Okay, we should technology with you. It's a deal. Hmm. This is part here is to help you deploy fleets to far. Our dedicated expert will make sure with what they need from munition to food. Um, this will solve naval capacity 15%. It's a deal. Okay, so for now, we'll just uh, make a deal with the uh, naval contractors here. Um, so, Crimson Company, we are currently receiving logistical assistance. Yeah, I, I mean, at least we should have uh, logistical solutions here, but uh, it seems that the gameplay-wise, I can only be limited to one uh, mercenary company. Uh, I think it would be best if, uh, you know, they should update this one and that we could, uh, you know, uh, receive support from multiple PMC companies like this one. 15% uh, plus 4 is uh, at least more than half logistical solutions. <laughs> But of course, I'm just only saying this as, uh, you know, as a gamer. So uh, I kind of find it a bit unfair that we can only have one uh, private contractor provider at a time here. So uh, Finn Habanis, or New Singapore, is an essential industrial area of the UNS. And... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a, be a big problem uh, if uh, New Singapore is going to be struck. So as for this, New Taiwan, um, we probably have to uh, probably Ships divert refitted. the industry here to, uh, I don't know, maybe different types. <laughs> okay, yeah, but in the meantime, I have to do some upgrades. Uh, artillery piece. Uh. Uh. Uh -huh. I'll probably have to do some um, clear design and then uh, auto complete. Yeah, that should do the trick. Oh, great. And then auto complete. It should uh, be crystal infused. Uh, okay. So we'll probably have another upgrade later on. Um, for now, uh, we should just proceed with the uh, research and development of, uh, you know, weapons. So we've already ramping up our physics with Professor Zarg. He's our brightest uh, scientist right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... Okay, so I guess... Uh... Right, that's gonna be a very, very busy thing for... Uh... For the UNS to prepare for now, it's not an issue because uh, there's only one empire that waken up the Igarians. So, uh, the Palithrians are, uh, I don't think they're, uh, you know, they're gonna, you know, declare um, some sort of, uh, who knows, it might be only one uh, empire here that awakens, it may be the only the Igarians. 
Hmm. Hmm, what's this? Oh, the Kalzan. Well, the Kalzan Republic is currently at the edge here. Well, uh, ba basically they're uh, entering the wild space here. <laughs> okay, I guess we're doing good with the economics here. But we need an industrial complex. Um, well, we've already fixed up our uh, ship shipyards here, so... Uh, huh. Well, probably I'd go for an upgrade. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I probably have to buy one. Okay, let's upgrade our uh, star bases here. Make sure that the uh, oh, um, just to make sure that uh, they become a citadel, and we're gonna go for naval logistics. What's this? <laughs> so Dorfield, since it's at the edge, it will probably be a fortress and a research world at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we'll go build an ARP outpost here. I don't know if I can build a hyper relay uh, right now. Mm, let's see. Well, it costs 25 influence, but the problem is I lack currently the influence points. Oh, okay. Uh, since we've already... Uh, we're just gonna save this one. It's already 30 minutes. Just a precaution, of course. We can't... Uh, put all our uh, gameplay here on one save. This will be UNS episode 16A. There we go, and we're going to save this one on our OBS. Okay, wonderful. So we've already saved that on our OBS. Um, you know, I make it a policy that uh, every 30 minutes I'll have to save just to, uh, in case my gameplay crashes, I'll just have only have to redo 30 minutes and not the whole hour or two hours. Well, probably because my computer isn't exactly that advanced and I still need to build it, uh, I mean, buy a new one. one. But once I buy the new one, I'll probably have to, I don't know, maybe uh, other streams will have to, uh, we can do all even longer streams without saving. But uh, for now, um, uh, I guess uh, we'll be, uh, I'll be more content on uh, every 30 minutes. Okay, what do we got? Huh. Okay, uh, sorry about that. I forgot that I should be uh, uh, playing it on the fastest. So, uh, hmm. okay. Uh, whew. So I never imagined that I would continue my gameplay here while I'm working, um, but uh, it's a good thing I, I'm, I can still continue. And I, when quite frankly, I wanted to finish the story. Um, uh, I wanted to finish the story of the uh, you, you know the government and universe that I've uh, created here on this. Uh, oh, what's this on this uh, gameplay or on my let's play? So it's uh, you know. It's a good achievement if I could uh, produce a video about the universe I created. I mean, there are other gamers on uh, Solaris that uh, already produced their own uh, fictional governments, but uh, I haven't produced one. So hopefully, I'll be able to uh, finish this one, the UNS, the United Nations of Seoul. I still got other empires that are up on my line. Uh, actually, I got already got uh, another one processing, uh, the SCA, but uh, I'm not sure uh, if my PC uh, can handle the uh, last part or the la the final part of the, my, uh, you know, playthrough on the SCA. But uh, let's see. For now, I'm just going to finish the uh, UNS. And then once I finish the UNS, and then we go for the SCA, and then another, and so on and so forth. I just want to, uh, you know, on this gameplay or this uh, channel that I'm playing, I want uh, every playthrough of mine to be a unique empire. This one, the origin of this UNS, is basically a gateway. Uh, 
gateway origin the SCA is a ring world origin so I'll probably be mixing up other empires that I'll be making to other origins hmm what's this oh okay the Arisu has become uh well they're from religious now they've become materialist this is uh strange uh, but they're still pacifists though so they are kind of ditched out their uh, religion hmm. holy terrasian foundation but uh this one is still uh, their neighbor is still a spiritualist pacifist so anyway as long as they don't go to war each other and that's um, and they're sort of more like a buffer state for the four next union or uh, i think that will be fine for me so for now it's still 2365 and uh, you, you know uh, we're still uh, two years away from totally rearming our uh, uh, rearming our uh, uh, fleet here oh god okay let's go upgrade this one <laughs> Oh, upgraded for seventy-five thousand. Uh. Wait, uh, why would I uh? It's a destroyer. Why would I uh, upgrade that? This one's advanced picket. This one's artillery. Ah, oh, of course, yeah. Okay, so this is kind of weird. Uh, this should be at least... Okay, well, I, anyway, I have to redo the armor thing again. But, uh, yeah, I guess that will do for now. Um, we're currently in a gameplay session, so I'll just probably have to fix that later on. <laughs> do -do -do. My, my, Sidran Manifold has around uh, 47. This one is 11,000, but is currently being blocked. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I probably have to order UNS Herhard to. Uh, Inbound message traffic. Okay, parallel to subspace. Okay, yeah, sure. We could establish an embassy with them. We're probably in good terms with this. Um, Chairwoman Eri Tenju. <laughs> so level three naval tradition. Hmm. So we get some perks: uh, offensive spirit and uh, federal envoys. <laughs> okay, so laws. Uh, Nation challenge. Hmm. Permanent communications have been established with an alien empire. Okay. Well, we don't really care much about that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, things are uh, being prepared here. Okay, colonization is uh, July 1st, 2366. Well, wait, wait, it's already near. Oh, yeah, it's still six months. So, yeah, that's still uh, quite far. Okay, 10 UNS fleet has uh, refitted. Um, Okay, we'll just reinforce this one again. <laughs> okay, so we're still very far here from any progress on our science department. Um, very far, I guess. <laughs> Construction complete. What's this? Okay. Right. Um. Do 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 do. Inbound message traffic. 
Yeah, okay, we'll offer. Yeah. We'll offer immigration now. Uh, I think we should offer free immigration. Uh, however, um, it will have to be a uh, medium. So, uh, yeah, once my uh, wait, uh, law is here, um, let me check the federation. It's level 3, so um, once we've leveled up, we could, you know, put our uh, federation here to medium. And then, uh, you know, we could go on with the free immigration treaty with almost everyone. <coughs> <laughs> So for now, uh, the foreign next union's Ships general refitted. rules is that if in order to declare war, we have to have an unanimous vote, meaning all of them have to agree. Um, of course, this does exclude if we're, uh, the war is defensive. Um, okay, we have 48 fort fleet escort fleet. Uh, fourth and 21st fleet. Wait, you got the third and fourth fleet. Um, yeah, we'll probably have to merge this one. Okay, so that's 65. Um, okay, we'll just add our fleet here. So this is an irregular fleet anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably have to, uh, you know, more like uh, consolidate all my uh, fleets here. UNS vol Volunteer Fleet. I'll just put the name here so it won't get the... Uh, or UNS Civil Defense Fleet. Yeah, so that all that uh, the f extra fleets that have been, uh, you know, been given by the uh, by the uh, mercenary fleets, will I'll have to mothball it here. Um, yeah, wait. I'll just probably have to rename this one UNS First Civil Defense Fleet. Yeah. So uh, if it gets overclouded, I could have the second UNS Civil Defense Fleet. So that should uh, well, it's still part of the regular uh, naval forces of UNS, but uh, we just uh, I have to have to you know add that mostly composed of irregulars. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the Civil Defense Fleet is mostly composed of. Uh, Mostly irregular type or uh, volunteer uh, naval service for the UNS. So we got a lot of uh, branch services for the UNS here, from ranging down from only three basics. Now it's almost five at least, if I recall correct. We even have the, uh, of course, the only in-game or in-universe uh, service, which is basically the ISS, their inter intelligence agency. Uh, but. Uh, mm -hmm. L like I said, um, uh, I, I still have a lot of work to do to, uh, you know, uh, writing down the in-universe uh, story of this uh, playthrough. Oh, labor laboratory. Huh. Science like minimal. Okay. Uh, huh. Seeds of destruction. Oh. Uh, soy system. Yeah, I guess it's on the uh, border system here. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm gonna have my first uh, UNS Civil Defense Fleet here as well. <laughs> okay, uh, right, so I guess that's it. <laughs> but uh, it's still an issue for me that I am uh, negative 14% on naval capacity, so uh, I probably have to do a lot more when it comes to uh, 
you know. But the good news is, I am now. Uh, probably I have to upgrade my. Uh, uh, what I call this? My Forge World here. Um, you know, 75, okay. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Forge World. This has uh, 33. Yeah, I'll probably have to upgrade the Mongolia once it reaches 75,000 or something. Wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah, I'll probably select the second uh, most... Uh, I think I have a planet sector list here or something. The second most populous forge world uh, in UNS. I will have to make an ascension park there just to, uh, you know, keep up with the alloy production. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got some 7k here. That's really nice. Um, yeah. Real nice in case we're gonna invade the, uh, you know, the Uri remnant space. <laughs> so how many more left? Oh, okay. Uh, that was fast. I only got at least a uh, race. Uh, you know. Uh, this should be an industrial world. Okay, industrial world is an in between. Whew, got a lot of uh, stuff here. Yeah, Mongolia is the only thing right now. Um, we have to ascend here. Uh, additional four. Hmm. Okay, so I guess my uh, option here is just ascend this one. So how many do we got here? Metagris. Okay, um, let me check the slave market here. All right, um, I'll just have to buy a new uh, slaves here from New Mongolia, New Canada, New Samoa. Okay, New Mongolia. Uh, they're kind of expensive, but uh, okay, we we'll, we we'll go for the cheapest. Um, okay. Yeah, I needed the new population for New Mongolia anyway, so, uh, yeah, um, we're just basically buying slaves for them, well, uh, and of course releasing them as a free man, but, uh, it will help a lot, I guess, in, uh, you know, making them free and being, uh, you know, allocating them. Okay, <laughs> so we're just basically preparing now. Uh, the UNS is basically preparing now its military industrial complex. <laughs> and this one is still stuck. Hmm. Okay, so I guess New Taiwan will. Uh, Hmm. Okay, it's near, uh, I'll probably have to go with this one as a unity, uh, I'll probably have to make this one as a unity, uh, unity world, I guess. <laughs> Besides, New Taiwan is pretty much close here. And pretty close to the border on uh Science Division report success. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Curator lab, survey speeder. I'll probably go for any enigmatic encoder with this one. Mm -hmm. That should do the trick. My alloys are technically... Oh well, I, I got a solution actually. I probably have to 
play for this one. Half of it will be a Forge world, half of it will be uh, a Unity world. Yeah. So, uh... This should be finished in July 1st, so it'll be open within a month. Or at least restored. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a very long gameplay, I guess. <laughs> But that's okay, uh, as long as the situation is not uh, is not uh, developing from bad to worse or abysmal. I think we could, uh, the UNS might, or the Foreign Action Union in general, might navigate with this situation. <laughs> oh, what's this? The world has been secured for our colonists. Okay, so... Uh, what's this? Uh, we would like to purchase this service, of course. Hmm. Uh, Indian High, what else do you have to offer? Um, hmm. Kelsan Republic, uh. Okay, so the Sidron Manifold is right now in front, is in warfare with this one, so I guess, um, I don't know who's. Oh, the Sidron. So it's the aggressor, so is the Sidron Manifold. Hmm. Okay, New Taiwan is... Uh, New Taiwan is basically operational now. So the first thing we have to do is... Um, okay, so the decisions, decisions, decisions. But uh, right now our main focus is the restoration of this one. So that will be... Um, Okay, well we already got trade, so uh, the main thing we gotta do here is this one. Freezing houses. Um, um, I don't know, maybe research silos. And then uh, we build at least one, two, three, and then the rest will be industrial complex. Okay. So far, that's good. So we're now, uh, you know, the UNS engineers and uh, scientists and a lot of personnel are now working around the clock to restore New Taiwan, a ruined eco-monopolis near at the border. So hopefully, um, this will uh, help with the, uh, you know. So in the meantime, I'm also gonna uh, send this guy. New Mongolia to tier 1 so that will give us at least 25% uh, or 25% uh, I don't know maybe uh, output so uh, that's good okay uh, this is something Krant will be uh, we colonize this one as um, um, prison world so uh, for now it has no designation but this will be a prison world prison world okay uh, we still don't have some Gaia worlds okay uh, so we got a lot of uh, you know designated worlds here hmm. most of them are uh, Gaia world 20 okay we'll probably have to spread this one um, this will be new hmm. okay what a Gaia world should we name this one it's supposed to be a name of a country new Nicaragua no Hmm. Okay, uh, how about, uh, well, oh, not New Mexico, uh, that's kind of weird. Okay, New Thailand. New, New Thailand. New Thailand, okay. So, uh, yeah. 
Oh, pledge secret fealty. Okay. So why are they pledging a secret fealty on us? Well, we can support their independence, but I'll... Uh, well, we can offer a migration treaty with them. Oh, they're currently at war with the Kalsan. Okay, so they're trying to save their skin from the wrath of the Sidran Manifold. So they're pledging their, uh, you know, secret fealty on, uh, on the, uh, you know, secret dealings to ensure the survivability of the state. Well, pretty sneaky, to be honest. Hmm. Okay, uh, we have an open borders, I guess, with them. Okay. So, we're currently buddy-buddies now with Mithraos. So, that's a good sign. <laughs> okay, we got the Dura still laced. Hmm. Huh. We'll probably go with the Tronium Armor or something. And Gauze Cannon. Yeah, we'll probably go for Weapons Advancement with this one. Um, petroleum armor for our uh, battleships. Mm -hmm. uh, Fenhobanis, okay, we're good with Fenhobanis now. Okay, so the habitat is now. Okay, so this is going to be an, uh, a fortress world, so we have to colonize this one, uh, name this one. Um, okay, uh, New Cambodia, I guess. New Cambodia. New Cambodia. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, wait. New Thailand is a fortress world, I guess. Since it's situated here. New Indonesia is a factor world, so this one will be probably be I don't know. Okay, I'll just have to uh uh, check that out later, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess things are going well for now, for me now, right now. And uh, we're doing good, actually. Hmm. Okay, uh, we're we're still finishing some recruitments here, uh, but that's not a big deal right now. New Yemen is a fortress world, stronghold, stronghold. Uh, I don't know. I will probably have to go with, uh, do they have Hallow Theaters? Stronghold, yeah, we'll go for Hallow Theaters, just to uh, make the population happy. Hmm. New Korea, uh, what do we got? Stronghold, Breezing Hallow Commercial Zones, Food Processing. Hydroponics, uh, we'll go for welfare and entertainment, so we're gonna have to hallow theaters with this one. Hmm. Stronghold, Otokyan, Precinct Houses, Hallow Theaters, Commercial Zones, so this is a Forge World. We're probably having Alloy Foundries, and uh, I don't know, maybe Civilian Industries as well. So we'll just uh, make it the combination of sorts. So just to boost up our, uh, you know, as we can see, our alloy production is already now plus 929 from 600. So that's a big deal. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so we'll make sure all our forge worlds here are to be uh, uh, made up of asc at least Ascension 2 or Ascension 1. Uh, so that we could be a highly industrialized country here, a uh, highly industrialized uh, stellar nation, in case war would uh, found itself on uh, on the Fornax galaxy. <laughs> so Recon second. Has completed. Uh, okay. Alright, so we'll just ha have a heavy military build-up for now. Okay, <laughs> uh... 
Well, the duplicator event is still taking its time. Okay, so we got some refugees from the Valor Khanate uh, going to Nice West. So that's good. We, we always welcome uh, new uh, refugees. <laughs> so the UNS now has become a multi species immigrant nation. <laughs> But of course, it's free. Uh, uh, it's free. Planet is still new Singapore and new Taiwan, so they can enter uh, in-game universe. Wise, uh, both eco monopolies worlds, they could enter without visas. So uh, yeah, like I said, I got a lot of world building here in this story. Anyway, I think this is now. Uh, I have to save this now. Um, this will be. UNS episode 16B and we're going to have a really short break for uh, for a few minutes so I'm just gonna save this one for uh, the OBS hello everyone and welcome back after that uh, short break that we have I just have to uh, you know refresh my outfit in a while because I was uh, I have to declog my nose for a few uh, uh, you know for a few minutes because uh, you know the temperature here on my room isn't exactly that uh, you know it's a uh, my temperature here in my room isn't exactly that comfortable right now but anyway enough with the uh, you know my ranting here or my description let's proceed now on our gameplay <laughs> okay so this one is loaded with minerals with this area, the star system. Probably have to, uh, you know, connect this one. But I can't build. I still lack the uh, influence points here. Right. Uh, technology. Uh, we're still around. Uh, you 11 months for Unity Ambitions. Uh, okay, what's this? Oh, New Germany. Hmm. Oh, it's a Forge World as well. But next upgrade will probably be 85,000. So I have to... Uh, okay, so two of these, or one of these, and then... Uh, okay, uh, we'll just have to... Wait, uh, six of these. So we have six. Uh, so I'll probably f uh, have to uh, upgrade this one as well. Uh, New Germany. Hmm. New Macau. <laughs> so I am doing a lot of the colonizing worlds right now. Hope I doesn't. Uh, you know, I don't get overextended. My empire uh, units don't get overextended. <laughs> do, do, do. Well, I got a 21st fleet. Right, so, uh. Yeah, I'll probably go with this. I'll have to consolidate my, uh. You know my uh, fleets here, so we won't get that uh, overstretched. Yeah, I guess this basically uh, uh, summarizes. Uh, I mean, basically all of my uh, armies here. I guess would have. Uh okay. Um, yeah, just give me a moment here. I'll collect my uh, army here. <laughs> so we don't uh okay. Right, we have this, we got this. Hmm. 
Alright, so I guess that uh, concludes all of my armies. So we'll just put them here. Or, uh, in Fenhabanis, I guess. Yeah, I guess Van Havanis is a good way, uh, a good rallying point for the army here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So everything is doing good right now. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> So we have an immense remilitarization for the UNS. <laughs> Probably just to uh, you know combat this Uli remnant. We're trying our patience, or basically just uh, make them, uh, you know, uh, just make them irrelevant. Okay. Do 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 do. Well, the six UNS fleet. Yeah, I probably have to reinforce this fleet as well. <laughs> okay, so all is doing good. Uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of which, oh. Great, I forgot. Yeah, I should have been upgrading my uh, star bases here. Oh. But anyway, that's uh, it's not gonna be a problem, I guess. Um. Okay, so uh, everything is uh, doing good. So we got two systems here, a prison planet and uh, and uh, I don't know. I still have to name a few planets here that don't have any designations, like Dorfeld Prime and and Dorfeld Kohama. Um, hmm. Probably I have to name them a uh, um, new designation names, I guess. <laughs> I mean, we're almost complete here. Hmm. New Europa is uh, kind of a bit of a small UNS world here. Hmm. And it has a Sentinel's uh, land feature. Okay, this should uh, finish the recruitment here. <laughs> so right now our population is, uh, you know, for uh, you know, I guess for uh, easy reference, we'll just call this one one trillion. Ah, oh, inventory. Okay, there's an order to the rats. Chaos. It's somewhat official-looking building towards the center of town. Similar so item complete. The uh, gross misinterpretation of Indian users as well as highly unhelpful knows where to find them. Okay, we uh, we have at least a rubricator here. Hmm. Construction complete. Full strength. Construction oh, why complete. is this full strength? This is just only 20. I uh, probably have to... Uh... Oh, okay, so it's full strength because most of it is still uh, being produced. Okay, uh, I get that idea. Okay, Fenhaban is a uh, station. Um... Okay, uh, we'll probably have to go through... Huh, how about this one? Huh. Automatic resettlement. 
yeah but no transit hub in less than one what does this mean oh anchorage yeah okay well um, I don't know how okay probably go with fleet academy I guess should have oh we already have a fleet academy okay so we're gonna go for crew quarters so this could at least make in theory uh, repair ships if I recall correct <laughs> Blocker cleared. Okay, uh, shipyards. Okay, we'll just upgrade this one. Okay, just go upgrade several. Uh, so, uh, okay, declare. Uh, what's the tree gonna expire? Twenty three sixty seven. October. Hmm. Right. Okay, we're just gonna merge this one with the f uh, UNS First Civil Defense Fleet. Okay, uh, that should uh, consolidate those uh, pesky, uh, you know, pesky random. Uh, bring the reactor online. Huh. Well, we should run the agnostic and make repairs. Subdue so the maniacal center. What is this? We foolishly thought that they were immune to the mist, but our scientists are experiencing fits of psychotic which Fighting has broken out ship by. We will need to clear atmosphere and subdue the mist victims before we can launch them. Yeah, okay, sure. Take your time. <laughs> Slow the switch. <laughs> for study uh, okay <laughs> sorry uh, I'm having another uh, you know my nose is getting clogged again hmm. okay well uh, oh New Guinea well no New Guinea yeah, yeah I forgot I could have uh, named them Oh, I'm just gonna need the new Solomon's planet in case of Solomon Islands, of course. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, we have consolidated our fleets here, so there's not much. Lacking two. Okay, this is something that I should be uh, getting my attention with. Uh, the lack of the uh, dark matter. Hmm, we could. Uh, now, for now, I'm just gonna upgrade my uh, shipyards here. Or star bases. Confederated Nations and they're currently expanding here on this side oh. okay uh, by the way it's still not October so we can't launch any uh, campaign yet and uh, and Habanis is uh, Okay, how about uh, Jose Antonio Isguera? Yeah, this guy Our looks. Have yeah, this guy looks gold. So it will be General Isguera. <laughs> so I still lack two hundred. Uh, welcome. <laughs> right, I have to sell this one, I guess. 
Hydra <laughs> Station. Okay, that's yeah. Okay, uh, let me check the designers here. Huh. Oh, well, yeah, it's an auto upgrade. Clear design and auto complete, I guess. Okay, there we go. Uh, clear design and then auto complete. And then uh, clear design and then auto complete. Okay, that should do the trick. Uh, for now, our technology is uh, still uh, currently being uh, developed, so there's not much going on. So, which is good for the UNS. Hmm. <laughs> currently, my gameplay is very slow now. Uh, it was fast uh, on my early uh, login sessions, but now it's almost snail pace. Okay. Alright, uh, Hydra's gonna have to be upgraded. Okay, this is Nebel Yard. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for Nebel Logistics Office with this one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, sublight speed plus 25, army morale, well, we'll do this if we're uh, currently in a... Uh, probably... Fascinating. Hmm. And celebrate diversity... Oh, okay, I still can't go with the diversity thing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the well civil defense fleet is an all time high. <laughs> Full strength uh field engineers have cleared a blocker. Okay, that's good. And probably they're uh, doing a lot of uh, clearing around the clock in New Taiwan. <laughs> Spaceport reports enemy contact. Oh, great pirates again. Uh huh. Anybody near on the northern sector? Uh, great. I probably have to send my fifth fleet with this one. So it will take him 200 days. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Cool, that's uh, the case. And uh, probably have to uh, set up some defense platforms here. So just to prevent piracy. <laughs> Yeah, we have to go uh, around here. Okay, New Samoa is not really a. Uh... Hmm. Okay, uh, this is an issue. Uh huh. Farmer, soldiers, technicians. Okay. Oh, what's this? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'll probably build next time uh, as a population boost. We'll probably have to go uh, robotics. Hmm. Yeah, might need this one. 
Yeah, fine. We'll go with robotics. Just to boost up our uh, robot population here. Okay, uh, let me check with the pops here. Uh, got some humans. How about the robots? Yeah, we got a very few robot pops. So, uh, we'll probably have to construct them just to assist, uh, to assist the, uh, dwindling population of the UNS. Or, I mean, to assist the population of UNS. But, uh, it's a big problem because, uh, and honestly, I'm... Uh, we, there's a possibility that if we build a lot of robots here, there might be an AI rebellion. <laughs> so, uh... Huh, okay. David Station. I never heard of this one. Oh, okay, David Trade Station. I'm just gonna go with this one. Trade Station. Okay. That's the new name, Davy Trade Station. Uh, this one is a fleet yard, so we'll just have to uh, later on upgrade that. Do -do 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 -do. Oh god, I have a very terrible slowdown on my PC right now. Didn't imagine it would be this slow. 2310. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. I guess uh, the slowdown's really, uh, you know, really, uh, oh, what's this? UNS Sahara. So I guess the slowdown here is gonna lag on my story, so uh, just to uh, say that I'll probably have to compress several episodes to make a cohesive story given with the lag time here. Just only take at least uh, a year or two here based on, but it's already two hours on my uh, playthrough. Science but that's okay, well, we're gonna take it slow. Oh, okay, we got Unity Ambitions now. Um, we could go for fleet command limit, uh, leader lifespan. I'll probably go for auto curating vault. Yeah, I'll go with auto curating vault. Okay, uh, this should prove on our edicts if I recall correct. Um, yeah, ambitions here. However, it's gonna cost 1300 and uh. What's this? Uh, ship territory, scientific revolution, fortress proclamation, uh, planetary build speed. Oh, we, we don't have architectural. Huh. Government ethics. Yeah, I'll probably have to assess. Uh, I, I need those. Yeah, we could go for willpower, but thing here is I need to, um, you, you know, I need to ascend most of my planets. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably build a lot of unity here. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see on my market today. Um, who is the slave market? Okay, uh, we'll pause this one for a sec. New Mongolia, so we'll just buy this one. Polyvite. Uh, we'll probably sell uh, a few more markets here. Okay, Polyvite. Yeah, okay. Yep, that should give us uh, some boost on our industry in New Mongolia. Um, where's New Mongolia? I think New Mongolia is somewhere down here. No? Okay. Well, uh... Oh yeah, here. Right. Okay, this is good. Okay, industrial district. Um... Well, we're just gonna... 
I don't know. Um, probably gonna go with this one, Forge World. Yeah, I think Forge World would be nice. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I need to do a, a routine check again, or a round check on all my planets and see who needs to be upgraded. Hmm. What's this? Ascension perk available. Oh, okay, we got the new Ascension perk. Um, hmm. This is... One Vision. It will give us Pop Unity. Yeah. Avoid born a monopolis. I need galactic wonders. So uh we already got here. Um Colossus is not necessary. No not galactic force projection. I think we'll go for unity or something like that. Ecology project will be nice. I need to go one vision. Uh, pop unity, governing ethics. Hmm. It's just plus 10%. Not really that. Uh, hmm. uh, we could go for ecology. Huh. We have the nine of these within our borders. Hmm. You know, this is really hard uh, thing. Uh, we could go for a ring world. Hmm. Well, we could become the crisis, but that's not the, that's basically defeating the UNS is basically the good guys. So I'll probably go, uh, not eternal vision, I'll probably go with, uh, uh, one, it's either one vision or, uh, one vision and then another colossus master builders and this one colossus project we could go at just a secret weapon uh weapons platform for the preferent swarm i guess but uh okay for now we'll just make it a pass we're not uh So I'll just pass the new Ascension Park because uh, we currently lack... Uh, let me take on the Edicts here. Uh, we should have at least some pop growth boost, I guess. Or something. Well, we got... Oh, okay, we're already on Nutritional Plenitude. So, uh, that's the thing. Hmm. Okay, we Remnant's not uh, happy now. And the uh, I guess the... Um, it's already expired, so, uh, huh. Okay, uh, let me take a look here for a second. I'm just gonna check, uh, on my, uh, status here. Um, just give me a second. <laughs> right, uh, oh, okay, right, um, so we're probably finally going to move for the last uh, 30 minutes after this but uh, yeah well, we'll still have to wait mm. uh, we could declare war now I guess with the Uri remnant um, we got several fleets ready anyway yeah I think we should declare war with the Uri remnant now declare war conquer claim uh, what are we claiming about that? Yeah, we could, uh... Hmm. Well, Adar would be nice, and Ephior. And, uh... Yeah, of course. We're just gonna reduce them to one single system here. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I guess we could uh, declare war with them. 
things. Okay, uh, we'll see if this will pass on the Fornax Union. <laughs> After all, we got an excess of uh, naval capacity fleet here. Oh my, so we're almost out of time again. So, uh, before the. Oh, no wonder. I was uh, on pause. But anyway, I have to pause this again and save this one. Uh, this After this, uh, we're going to proceed now on our last 30 minutes for this uh, recorded Let's Play session. So, this will be UNS episode 16C. There we go. And we'll save this one on our OBS. So, uh,. Just give me a moment here. Okay, there we go. Welcome back. And we're now proceeding on our last 30 minute session. Before we end, of course, our uh, recorded Let's Play. Uh huh. So, hopefully, we'll probably be uh, able to vanquish the Uri Remnant with this one. Or at least we have enough uh, military forces. Uh, Science Division report success. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. What success? Okay, we got the neutronium armor. Um. Low gravity mega refineries. Uh. Okay. Just give me a, a moment here. Well, we got a nanite repair system, but we have to upgrade our weaponry here. We'll go for quantum missiles. Okay, hmm. for next union, the Holy Terrestrian Foundation. Yes, it should be approved by the for next union. Is still, we're still democratic with this one. I'm gonna position my fleet here so that they could easily just, uh, you know. Standing mm -hmm. by to commence offensive operations. Okay, weapons so free. It, repeat weapons uh, free. The war started in 2367 uh, with November 20. So we're just gonna conquer uh, status go. After that, we we could go for a status go with them. And, uh, yeah, we just needed the Rixim system for a part of the new sector here. <laughs> yeah, I probably have to relocate my uh, army here. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Okay, um... Right, uh, oh, god, okay, uh, right, uh, we'll do it here. Oh, Kremplin, okay, we got some, uh, new companies here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a very action packed 30 minutes. So, uh, the resumption of hostilities for the Uri Remnant and the UNS and Foreign Action Union has now resumed. So, basically, the armistice is now gone. Actually, the main purpose of this is just to... Uh, I'm still thinking of ways how to justify the war of the UNS here and the, uh, the second uh, war of the UNS and the Uri Remnant. So, uh... Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a deal. Uh... 
Well, we, to, we want to commission an art piece. It's a deal. Well met. Okay, um, do we have a commission art piece here? Okay, um, art monument. Uh, Finn Habani says already have an art monument if I recall correct. So yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're trying now to uh Okay, we're just gonna make a quick work out of this one. And we're just probably finishing off. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy this one on a long uh, uh I'm just gonna Yeah, great. Okay. Uh, we'll just take at least a few minutes here for the video for my storyboard. Hmm. Okay, so I guess the defenses were easily overrun. Or, uh, or it should be overrun, if I recall. Oh boy, this uh, starbase is being overrun. The core has armies about 3,000, easy to work with. The boundary is 3,000 as well. Huh. Okay. <laughs> the Netherlands. Do, 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 do. Okay, we finally got that under our grasp. Field engineers Okay, we're just gonna go land our armies here. Hmm. Right, um, I guess we should go here. Oh, oh my god, did it just jumped? From here, jump it somewhere here. Hmm. Okay, so it's currently battling uh, first fleet here. Blocker from cleared. yeah, it, I, I did just saw it here. It's recorded. It just simply made a jump or something. Hmm. So basically, it has to uh, maybe clear. Maybe the, maybe split our forces here, so I'll probably have to go here, and the other fleet will have to. Uh, oh, what's this? Ground forces are dropping huh. on target. Okay. Okay, we'll just have to this reduce this, and probably make it hit here. Okay. Um. We'll just have to uh, make this uh, land here, conquer the boundary. Okay, I'll uh, probably have to stand by this one in orbit. <laughs> Okay, so the war on the land here has uh, already started, the ground war. So we got a f uh, overwhelming army here, 7,000 against uh, 3,800 uh, numbers uh, for defenders here. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Blocker cleared. Construction complete. Okay. So we'll just wait uh, for the war to turn out here. So it's just a very short war. It's just only need around negative 25 for a status quo. And that's it. Yeah, we'll just leave it here. 
<laughs> uh, we can also find the crashing wave as well. So we split our two fleets here. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll just uh, leave it here for the map. Uh, on the tactical side, uh, this is the Ori uh, space. So uh, anyway, I'll just have to uh, make this uh, focus my uh, image here so that we can make a... Uh, oh, sorry. Well, we can make a general map here. Yeah, I guess this one is... Okay, that's good. Okay, we're just gonna go here and combat this one this uh this uh, uri remnant fleet the crashing wave uh. Do, 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 do. Uh. okay we probably have to enter orbit here recon pass completed okay what's this mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. <laughs> or we could just take this one simply. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think we could uh, just remove Adar here. Adar's oh, theirs. We'll just uh, take this one. Then uh, we'll just limit them to two systems. In case they want to, uh, you know, attack, uh, they'll have to be, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, we'll, take, we'll take them one system at a time. <laughs> okay, so I'm expecting that this will be a short war, or land war. Oh, what's this? Kalzan, stop it guaranteeing independence. Okay. Okay, uh, excellent. Okay, we'll just sell a few of these. Okay, uh, the slave market hasn't uh, updated yet, so, uh, hmm. uh, first UNS. Okay, we're currently engaging this one. Uh, from the looks of it, uh, both fleets here are having a hard time. What's this? Fleet contract ended. Uh, yes, open communications. Griffin, uh, we wish to rent the fleet. It's a deal. Goodbye. So the Griffin fleet. Uh, what's this? This is the first time I saw that this is in check. If they are vicious, they will occupy the planet. Ground forces are dropping on target. There's on. Um, okay. Um, this is. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll just go with this one.
Oh, we got the the boundary. We got some several. Uh, huh. Okay. Uh, right. Um, what do we need here? We need eighty-seven thousand unity points. Okay. Uh, I think we've already started. What's this? Not, uh, why are they chasing this one? Okay, there we go. Okay, it seems that uh, it's a heavy fighting here. They're well equipped with high-tech weapons. Uh, most of the weapons being used here is just uh, reverse engineered. Uh, I mean, most of the weapons used by the UNS is reverse engineered from the Retonian origin, complete. anyway. Huh. Okay, what do we got here? Um, anyway, since we got 10,000 alloys right now, I think it's about time we, we upgrade our uh, star bases here. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, we got a tent in a fleet. We're gonna upgrade these guys. Construction complete. Fleet action underway. Hmm. Construction complete. Uh, we should have naval logistics here. Uh, we'll probably have to go uh, later with that. Okay, we're now fighting the crashing wave here. Oh. Okay, uh, this is uh, basically one of the largest engagement. Okay, we'll just, uh, yeah, okay, for video purposes, we're just gonna... Oh, great, what? Ancient, yeah, whatever. Okay, we'll just uh, go with this. So we basically outnumbered them in numerical superiority. So uh, it's gonna be a very, very... Uh, you know, not a uh, not a very surprising uh, win for the for next union or the UNS. Okay, we'll just uh, yeah, I'll just put this one for her. I think so. I guess we finished this one. Oh, they just froze. Science division reports a new breakthrough. I'm not sure if this is an error, but uh, yeah, this one just froze. Uh, something. Well, anyway, we won. So, uh, okay, we'll just uh, get a science vessel here. Okay, two science vessels are currently busy doing their thing. Um, we got any nearby science vessels? Uh, huh. Okay, James Cook seems to be not doing anything, so I'll have to uh, make him do something. Okay, after that successful victory, we'll go for the horseshoe system. Okay, that's good. Hmm. What the hell? Why is this here? You should be invading this army here. 3,000, 3,600. So, uh... Okay, I guess I have to upgrade my, um... Uh, relics here. Army damage, if I recall correct. Planet sensor range plus 2, diplomatic weight plus 2. Okay. And, uh, military applications. What's this? Uh, army morale, army damage. 
Okay, we're gonna go for combat drugs. Just to make sure that our armies here have the edge. So yeah, it's gonna be a uh, very large uh, or a slim margin win here, I guess, in the boundary. But uh, we could, you know, take them back anyway. So uh, yeah, the Uri Remnant is basically defenseless right now. Uh, the Curating Vault. Uh, what do we got next? Well, we could go for Ministry of Production. Empire size from Pops, or now yeah, we go for Empire size from Pops. In the meantime, while the war is going, I have to. Uh, upgrade several uh, stuff here if I recall correct we should be having oh a Tokyon oh we don't have okay that's kind of funny okay not the curating vault seems to be uh, not a thing here hmm <laughs> okay, uh, so still negative 23, so that's okay. We're good with that. Okay, we'll just enter this system. In the meantime, the second UNS fleet. Oh god, what happened here? It's just 1.6 and 9.8 against a 45,000. Oh, what the hell happened? Okay, we'll just retreat. Retreat. So we'll just retreat with that one. With those, uh... I'm not exactly sure why my, uh... Why my fleet suddenly, uh... You know, uh... You know... Their, uh, firepower just went, uh... Uh, sunk Construction like that. Complete. Probably because of the firepower. Uh, hmm. Okay, we'll upgrade this one as well. For, uh, for the Finn Havana shipyards, or New Singapore shipyards. Um, yeah, I'll just name this one New Singapore. New Singapore shipyards. Hmm. New... Singapore fleet yards, uh, shipyards. Okay, there we go. That's the name of the station now. From Fanhabani Station, it's now uh, New Singapore Shipyards. Okay, the tent fleet is still chilling out here. Um, Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, our uh, science division is very, very busy right now. Uh, Night night repair system. Um, probably go for gaze cannon here. We just need a full uh, upgrade on our weaponry or on the UNS weaponry. In the meantime, seems that we're winning on the core. Uh, it's a very, uh, very close fight here in the boundary. <laughs> okay, uh, so I guess we're gonna go here. Land armies. Okay, the third UNS fleet can, uh, and the first civil defense shirt could surely handle this, I guess. <laughs> the first and second, uh, I have no idea. Third is in contact. Uh, what about the fourth? We don't have the fourth UNS fleet here. The sixth is still chilling out, which is good. 
Um, wait, who's in charge now on the Foreign X Union here? Where's my Foreign X Union fleet? Uh huh. Yeah, where's the Foreign X Union fleet? Oh, okay, um. Okay, I, I guess it's uh, still on standby. Hmm. Okay, we'll just. Uh, Okay, <laughs> we probably should be taking this one. Um, okay, uh, this one's 2,000. Um, we got uh, 5,000 here. Yes. Blocker cleared. And this one's about a very close fight. Hmm. San Antonio Escara is uh, you know, fighting a neck-to-neck -neck battle here. Okay, how about the slave market? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> so we got a lot of the. <laughs> okay, so our leaders here. How about the leaders tab? Got an admiral here, and uh, yeah, generals. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, well, it's still negative 21, so it's still on the early stages of the war. <laughs> yeah, I probably have to construct a fort UNS fleet with this one. Okay. Yeah. Probably have to consolidate later on. Uh, probably I'll do that on my next. Uh. Okay, what's this? Okay, we won. EPR system has been secured. Hmm. Okay. Oh no! no wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Uh. Do we have any admirals around? I oh, will go with this one. Imat. Hmm. Hey, uh, I guess. Uh, they're still taking their time here. So in the meantime, we we'll better check what's going on with the army here. 4,000 and this one's uh, 3,000. So it's a very close fight with this one. Well, uh, let me see with my army here. Which ones c I could uh, pull off right now? Uh, New Mongolia core, the boundary. Hmm. Yeah, we could go for New Gibraltar. Hmm. Uh, this is really. Okay, well, well uh, this is a fortress station, so I could probably recruit, I guess. Okay, so, uh... Okay, we'll just get Hugo Duval here. Uh, what's this? Oh, Gaia World. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> What's this? Uh, 
Okay, what was only rumors before has now been confirmed. The horrific mass murder on New Eleven has been tearing holes in our very reality, opening rifts into another world. The phenomenon has reached the containment procedure and now seems to be expanding into Eleven's capital. Any contact with the dimension and readily through the tens of cervical devices causes intense even further, but also promise that with a bit more they can unlock the secrets of other dimensions. Huh. Engineering. Uh, this table is horrific mass inverter. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, uh. Yeah, let's see if uh, this is really worth it. Yeah, we'll just. Uh. Okay, uh, just as a precaution, I have to evacuate uh, several uh, pops here uh, from New, Le New Lebanon. Probably I have to uh, evacuate them to uh, New Mongolia, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, this is the problem. Okay, how about New Singapore? We have at least 149. Hmm. Unemployment is zero. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Um, new Ta how about New Taiwan? Go for New Taiwan. Uh... Okay, we'll just check this one. Oh my god, um, okay. So I'll just finish my, um, my uh, evacuation here. Oh, what, what new, Ye new Yemen? Well, it's not New Yemen, New Taiwan. Okay, so we'll just leave a science director here. And, uh,. Oh, how about New Yemen? Okay. New Yemen. Uh, yeah, I'm just going for a... Okay, so we just can't take the risk. Uh, we, we have to ensure that there's a... We've already evacuated most of the pops here. So just in case. So we got 85 jobs right now, so that might, uh, anyway, uh, since we've already ended our recorded Let's Play session, we're just going to save this one and see what happens. So we're just going to end this on a cliffhanger on what happens on the uh, UNS uh, Science World or Research World uh, New Lebanon. So this is UNS episode 16D. So for those of you who are watching this, thank you a lot and it means uh, you know a lot to me uh, that you watch it, my uh, recorded Let's Play. So again, have a great day and see you on my next recorded Let's Play. So bye bye for now.